a Greek twist on scampi. The shrimp has been marinating. Don't skip this part for any scampi, any style of scampi shrimp, okay? You put a little grated garlic on the shrimp itself with lemon zest, not juice. It'll start to cook the shrimp. Zest and a little fine sea salt, okay? And a tiny drizzle of olive oil. And then I put that in the fridge and I let it marinate. When we make the dish, we're going to cook in olive oil. We're going to add a little fresh chili. I have a Fresno, very mild chili, fruity chili, and a little sliced garlic. This is enough for two dishes. I have to make this twice today. Um, but a little chili, uh, lots of sliced garlic, swirl. If I was making an Italian scampi, I would use white vermouth. We're making a Greek scampi, so we're gonna use ouzo. Brown the shrimp a bit first over medium high heat in the olive oil. Then we're going to add our sliced garlic and fresh chilies. Our butter, flame with ouzo. Very exciting, very exciting. So now I've got the shrimp in the pan. They're turned opaque. I'm adding the sliced garlic. Give that a shake. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So now, just before the fish, fish, the shrimp are done cooking through, remember what I said? We're going to add the ego off burner. Let's stick. And flame it. That wow. scared me. That's why, guys, I said do it off the flame. Because you don't want to be holding a bottle. Go. <laughs> Cool. It's not cool, it's hot. But that's just the alcohol, of course, burning off, which is why we cook with spirits. We're concentrating their flavor and cooking away most of the alcohol content. Neat, right? Super fun. Now we can add in our butter. A couple tablespoons of butter. And you can add red or black pepper. I chose a little red pepper flake. And then tons of parsley at the end for color and that beautiful, bright, grassy flavor. And of course, what would any Greek dish be without lemon? Always keeping the lemons cut side up so that the seeds stay with the lemon and don't fall into your dish. And that's it, give it a little swirl and she's a done. Just melt that butter in so that you've got sauce to mop up with your pita and your rice. Look at that glorious hot mess. Oh, boy, does that look gorgeous.